Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. This is not full-size around. This is a sneakers and stuff Instagram, a little bit of quarantine activity. I'm going to show you around my sneaker collection. Not every single thing, just some select bits and pieces here and there to keep you entertained while we are stuck inside. Uh, people ask me a lot how many sneakers I have in total. My collection's a little bit spread out. I want to say around 500, 600. I don't know. I have several hundred sitting with me here at home. Too many. By the way, people always comment on my stuff being like, oh, that's that's a goal. It's not a goal. You don't want to live like this. You don't want to have this many sneakers taking over your life. Trust me, it's not as glamorous as it seems. Um, So several hundred here. I have a f f I have a hundred maybe uh, at my office as well. Just stuff that's piling up. Things that people send me, things that I order, uh, you know, stuff like that. And then I have maybe a hundred more stashed away in a secret spot on the west coast so the stuff i have is a little bit spread out but still i got a lot of good stuff sitting around here at home so i am going to show you around briefly briefly this is not everything just some weird things some sneakers and stuff things that have been sitting around all right plenty of people have been critical with me about this i know it doesn't look pretty but i do have lots of boxes stacked up in no particular order and they are falling over and they do fall over things on top as well that just uh <sighs> a lot of stuff out of a box as you can see, a very random assortment. Uh, many people have commented that I have one of the more random assortments of shoes. This stuff hanging out down here, this is everyday wear type stuff. New Balance, Reebok, Air Jordan 3 Black Cement, Tom Sachs Mars Yard, some Air Max 95s, Union Bands. I think this was a Complex Con exclusive. Old Gyakuso Nike Zoom Elite. Some more daily rotation type stuff, Jordan 1s. Actually, this is not really in the rotation on the regular. This is an old Beams Hirachi light, but I do not have an original box for those, so they're sitting out like that. Uh, if you see me around at all, or if you know anything about what I do, I'm in the Reeboks regularly, that's a Bay Pair. This is not really a regular rotation shoe, but it is sitting out here. Nasi Lamak Asics from a good time in Malaysia with my boy Matt Wealthy, Cool Gray Jordan 4s. Uh, what else do we have? As you can see, no particular order to anything. By the way, we got plenty of sneakers and stuff, things sitting around here. Soul Box, Adidas, Pumas. Anybody else remember buying these at Marshalls for like 40 bucks? That's 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 a fond memory of mine. Um, let's see what we can find in here. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, I want to show you these. Da -da 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 -da. Anytime you see one of these old Nike boxes, you know it's gonna be something good. There it is. There it is, Denim Swoosh Air Force One. You don't see these things around too often. This pair is from back in 2002. But if you look around on eBay, you can find plenty of good Air Force One deals. I feel like people are not searching for those as much as they should right now. We're gonna spend a bunch of money on dunks and things like that. I like to go on eBay from time to time, just put in like Air Force One 2002, Air Force One 2003, Air Force One 1999, things like that. So I think that's where for that. I think that's where that pair came from. Still icy on the bottom. Might have to give them a lick. All right, listen, there's plenty more stuff in here that I really would like to pull out, but as you can see, it is a bit disastrous, so I'm going to try, try and show you stuff without everything falling over. Oh, successful, okay. Here we go. By the way, just so you know how serious we are about this SNS stuff. I will not hold it against you if you've never seen this before. This is the Air Stasis FS FS SN Footscape. By the way, if you notice the box, shout out to the Savage who shipped these to me just like that. No double boxing. I hate you. Air Stasis FS, a weirdo shoe. I don't even know why I own these, but you know, it's got the Footscape type thing going on there. As you can see, I have worn them a couple times. It's not falling apart on me just yet. Maybe a little bit of separation happening there. Again, the stuff I have is not necessarily the standard type stuff, just a lot of weirdo stuff that I collect. Probably need to break these out a little bit more, but they are kind of tight. Air Stasis FS, I promise you won't see these every day. Now the hard part, let's see if we can get these back in here without anything <laughs> falling over. Good enough. If you're anything like me, you have sneakers piled up in every portion of your house. Open random doors and there's just a bunch of them sitting there. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> NYC Air Force Ones. I think this was for the opening of the Nike Soho store. I'm not really sure how many pairs are made. One person told me 24. Another person told me 100. I remember when I bought these ASAP bar, he was looking at me real hard and wondering how he could get a pair. This is another shoe that I totally forgot I owned. Nike Drew McFly. The 
Back to the Future Shoe everyone forgets about. Marty McFly wore these. This is not the Nike mag, but still a cool pair. Let's see what other sneakers we have piled up here. Still looking for the other pair that was another around here somewhere. Token nine shot to SNS. Da -da 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 Here's a weird one. I'm still trying to figure out who Kyle Devers is. Kyle, if you're out there, please let me know. This I got from a sample sale. A pair of DQM Dunks. A pair of DQM Dunks. I can't remember when I got these. I think like 2013 or something like that. This is a sample, but they actually did come out. This uh, suede perf. Not sure what I'm going to end up doing with these. Like I said, sometimes you open up random doors and you find shoes everywhere. A lot more stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Gazelles, Reeboks, Spezial. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Reebok, DMX Run 10. Reebok, plenty of Reebok. Okay, some stuff I wore on full size run recently. I have no idea what's in there. Oh, you guys might have seen these on YouTube already. Nike Decade, Heaven's Gate shoe. Still dead stock and, no pun intended. In my size. Special shoe, go Google my article. Rest in peace. Original Air Max 97s in the neon colorway. I don't even know what's in here. Can't forget about those. But I really do not know what is in some of these boxes. Hirachi screen green. Most of California trainer. There's a special one. Most of them are spent on a pair of shoes. Hender Scheme New Balances. Kith A6. What else do we have? Here? Same was about to fall on me. TNs. We don't see this one every day. Kudos in the comments to everyone who remembers this one. How the three dots. Supreme Air Force Ones. What is this? Uh, back when I was buying every single pair of Zoom Flies that came out. Orca Air Trainer 1s, if you remember these came out with a pack of uh, Dunks and Air Force 1s as well. You might have seen these in the Hiroshi Fujiwara fragment book. The thing about living with so many sneakers is that you end up kind of barricading yourself in. And you can't get to the stuff you want to and you can't actually get out either. So I'm kind of stuck here. Like I said at the top, I am Brendan Dunn, co-host of Full Size Run. I'm gonna check off for now, but uh, important PSA before we get out of here. One, continue to wash your hands. Two, continue to stay inside, wear a mask if you can. And three, if you're watching this on sneakers and stuff, don't hop in my DMs and ask me if I'm selling sneakers. I am not gonna sell you any sneakers. Stay safe.